Oh, hello, Zach. It's me, Zach. It's been an entire week since you've came out with a new vlog. When you started this, you said you were gonna do three vlogs a day. Do you know what's in this bag? You can feel it, can't you, Zach? Almost as if it's a part of you. It's your vlogging camera, Zach. Vlog something. Vlog something! Okay, campers, rise and shine, and don't forget your booties, because it's cold out there today. It's cold out there every day. What is this, Miami Beach? Ah, 4.20 in the morning. Another beautiful day under God's green heaven. How lucky am I? We've got absolutely no time to waste today, so let's get down to brushing our teeth. Time to procrastinate. Let's check Facebook. No notifications there. Perfect. How about Instagram? No notifications there as well. Perfect. How about Twitter? Awesome. YouTube's never let me down. 12 views last night. 12 whole views! Can you believe that? Yes! After all of my viral success, I'm still so humble. Sometimes I still stare at the man in the mirror and I tell him to change his ways. Change your ways. Get it? Because it's Michael Jackson, man in the mirror. He sung man in the mirror. You get it. But the key to a good day is a good hair day. That'll work. On to the next step. Kitchen. Refrigerator. Yogurt. The most important meal of the day. Serving it up. Jerry's way. Pop. Step into my office. Because now it's time to save the world. Silly me. I almost forgot. I can't work today. I'm sick. I'm not gonna be able to make it in today. My shift's at five. Who's there? Luke. Yeah, I just started there like a week ago, two weeks ago, something like that. Okay, did you call the 1-800 number? Yeah, well I just started there so I haven't got, I didn't even know about that number to be honest with you, so I was just calling up and hoping they could transfer me to my department so I could, you know, get the day off. I'm getting <coughs> like two points for a no call, no show. Yeah, so well do you think they're gonna be, I mean, will they be mad? It's, I mean, my shift's in like 12 minutes, but like, it's not gonna be, so my shift's in like 12 minutes, it's not a big deal, they're not gonna like care, right? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be completely and frank with you. I'm not really like sick sick. I just, the new, the new Modern Warfare just came out, so I kind of just want to stay home and play it. I don't really want to come in today. Could you like I don't really want to I don't really want to say that to the manager back there. Can you tell them for me? Yeah. Yeah, but make sure you call the one eight hundred number so you don't get two points or no call no show. Just Google it and it'll pop up. It's gonna pop up. Come that help you. Yeah, I need to make a uh, anonymous complaint. <laughs> What's your problem? Well, I I work there and I don't really want to get transferred to him, but my uh, manager back there he wouldn't give me the day off tomorrow. Yeah, I just put in for it. Yeah, I've been putting in for it for the past two days. It's just, it's just bullshit. I, I mean, I can't, I can't tell you anything. I'm just in the fitting room. I mean, I don't understand what the big deal is. I'll just not come in tomorrow, then I guess. I mean, I don't think I don't, I don't understand anyway. Yeah. If you don't come in, all you have to do is just, you should get a point against you. I mean, I missed my shift last Wednesday. Nobody said anything about it then, so I'm just gonna go ahead and miss it again tomorrow. Yeah, he, Mark, he, nothing, they didn't even know. Nobody knew, nobody called, they didn't even care. I actually still got paid for it, too. Yeah. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's acting like a real B-A-B-Y baby. You know, I don't really have time for his negativity, so. Yeah, I mean, I tried out for the wrestling team in ninth grade. I almost made it, too, so if he doesn't straighten up quickly, he's done -zo. Well, thanks for being a great listener. Okay. Hey, this is Jeremy. I just started up there uh, about a week ago, week and a half ago. I'm not gonna be able to make my shift tomorrow that I got. I'm scheduled for. Okay. Were you? Jeremy. Yeah. Were you the Were you the one to talk to? 
Okay. So, I'm Kat. I'm a shift supervisor here, but I'm actually just the person I'm here in the Oh, okay. You'll know it's schedule for tomorrow. Really? Okay. Yeah, so I'm here to work tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not working tomorrow. I'm actually just working on the schedule for tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just working on the schedule. Yeah. Well, if you could just leave them a note. Um, just let them know I'm still celebrating Black History Month, so I don't really have time to come in anymore. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to leave a note, and I'm going to go talk to them about it as soon as I get a chance. Okay, because it only happens, you know, it only happens once a year, so I don't want to miss out on it. I think I might have time to call. Yep, hi, hello? Yeah, how you doing? Hey, I'm calling in. Yeah, it's okay. I'm calling because uh, I'm not going to be able to make my shift tomorrow. And figured I'd call ahead of time. I just started out there about a week ago. But, uh, yeah. Department. Uh, meets. Meat department? Yeah, they transferred and me back to. Downtown or at a, at a one on West Town? West Town. Huh? Yeah, the downtown one. Okay, so you was at the West Town And then you used to, and you started, so you, or you used to work for them? Yeah, and the transfer. Yeah, then they, then they transferred. Yep. So I've been over here for about a week, and I'm just, I'm just not going to be able to make my shift uh, tomorrow, and I wanted to give you guys kind of a heads up. Um, you know Jason in there? Yeah. Okay, so J he's got kind of a lazy eye, and he keeps kind of like giving me the... Yeah, he, yeah, he keeps giving me the stank eye, and I just kind of feel like if I come in, you know, I'm going to end up putting my orange belt to use and everything. I just don't really want to come in tomorrow and, and cause any no, kind of fight. He, he, he doesn't work, but he ain't been mad at but Yeah, so, yeah, but so he... What time will transfer you down here downtown? Yeah. I mean, can you just, like, honestly, can you just put me on... Tomorrow. Yeah, I, I've been there for about a week now, though. I've only worked one day. Um, I don't know if you were working that day when I was in there. Um, Over here, downtown? Yeah. Can you just tell him I'm sick or something? I mean, honestly, between me and you... I don't really yeah. want to come in tomorrow anyway. Uh, just, just write on the schedule that I'm like sick. If you could cover for me. I mean, I got. Okay, what was your name? Alex. Alex. Okay. Yep. So I, 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 I mean, I got some. What about the day after? Are you just gonna skip tomorrow and then go back to West Time, or are you planning on coming back here? Well, I probably would come back there. Uh, what I, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get like established on some sort of salary, so that way I can just keep taking some days off okay. and then just and keep getting paid without working. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I just have some Jersey Boy tickets. This is really the real reason I'm calling in. I just got some Jersey Boy tickets tomorrow for a concert, yeah. and I don't really want to miss the show because you know they're getting older. Uh, so if you, if you could just like cover for me, just tell them I'm sick or something. All right. Tomorrow, what was your schedule? Um, I think I was. Yeah, it was like eight to eight to two. I want to say. Okay. Yeah, right. just just write it on the schedule. You know, the guy that's the guy that looks like he's jacked. It looks like he'd take on anybody in the store. Um, just, just, if they don't know me, that's probably a good way that they could identify me. Uh, just let them know I can't make it in. Just tell them I'm sick. All right. Or like solving world hunger or something like that. That'd probably be fine. Something something right. that's believable. So this past weekend kicked off the Halloween celebration season for us, and this means that I got the opportunity to dress up as the Texas rattlesnake himself. Stone Cold Steve Austin. We hosted our annual Halloween party bus. So it's a Halloween theme where people dress up and we jump around from, uh, you know, just a little FYI YouTube. There wasn't any alcohol on the bus. So anything that you see on there that you think could potentially be alcohol, it's all a prop just because a couple of my friends did actually dress up as alcoholics, ironically, right? So at this point in my vlogging journey and creating videos, most people opt out of being on camera with me when they see me carrying around my camera. Kind of out of respect for that, I didn't bring my camera out a ton on the trip. So I didn't get to necessarily record the entire night. Well, there was that and the fact that I lost the majority of my basic motor functions from uh, being so hyper and drinking all that pop. But uh, I did get a decent amount of content that I'm going to share next with you. I'm putting a different soundtrack over the music that we had going on on the bus just because um, we don't want to get this video demonetized. Some of the songs are copyright, so I can't use it in my content. But I did put a song over top of 
the songs that were on our party bus that closely resembled what we were listening to. Enough of that. Let's just see it. Glory to His name. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I just looked up what a Kegel is. Now guys, I wouldn't recommend you go on Google and search this because, first of all, this is just a word that I heard today, never really knew the meaning of it, so completely oblivious to what this thing means. So I go on Google and I search it. Cleared my browsing history in a snap because mama raised a saint. Don't look it up. Let's jump into the fan favorite segment. Everybody knows and loves, Shit Talk. Welcome back to the world famous segment Shit Talk, where we talk about important shit amongst our porcelain throne. First of all, we got them. Let's see if I can pronounce this correctly. Abe Baker Allen Bag P. Diddy. Well done to the boys in the red, white, and blue. Another round of applause. Abu Brinkpad's bagpipes, the world's most wanted terrorist and the leader of ISIS, was found after a several year long manhunt. U.S. forces came knocking with gunfire and trapped him in his escape tunnel where he eventually detonated his suicide vest. I'm going to get a lot of negativity for saying this, but you can't say you didn't go out with a bang. Maybe this is what that song meant by It's Raining Men. It's raining men. And in other massive news, Kanye West just released his new album, Jesus is King. And to be honest with you, it's not too bad. It's just not what I was expecting from Kanye West of all people. You know, I dismiss the old Kanye. Straight from the go Kanye. Chop up this soul Kanye. Set on his goals Kanye. I don't really hate the new Kanye. I just wasn't expecting what he put out. And that's really all the shit I gotta say on that. What's that? Popeyes? I'm just getting breaking news right now that Popeyes restaurants is having a shortage nationwide on chicken sandwiches and people in Alabama are completely losing their shit. I mean, who really cares? Chick-fil-A is like 20 times better and if you don't think so, fight me in the comment section below. That's all the shit we have time to talk about today. And remember, don't take life too serious because shit happens. You can't always control the shit hand you're dealt in life. But the winners in life are the ones that take that shit hand and they do something about it. They go out and they get the shit that they deserve. And wait, before you click on to my next video, it's not too late for you to subscribe. And it's also not too late for you to like this video. So make sure you subscribe to my channel before you click on the next video and like this video. And if you have any questions, leave that shit in the comments section below. And I will see you on the next one, you shiny thing. after talking all that shit.